uh, in this section, uh, we'll go through the equity analysis. Equity analysis is more of the uh, hands-on, so we'll keep limited time for this slide presentation. Uh, uh, so basically, equity analysis consists of two different parts. One is a pre-arranged logical uh, unit of uh, analysis uh, created, pre-created for you. The second option is wherein you can create your own customized view. Uh, similar to other pages, you can add alert, you can add alerts to of your favorite equity view. You can add it to watch list portfolio. Won't, won't go much uh, in explaining the features. Uh, straight away, let's jump into uh, the actual hands-on. So equity analysis can be accessed from this menu. Uh, you can directly go to a, a individual uh, analysis like a trend strength, like so you, are, you know what, what you're looking for, let's say trend strength, and you are looking for trend strength for a particular stock, let's say Reliance Industry see where it is today trend strength it gives you all the details about the, the trend strength of uh, uh, trend strength of uh, uh, reliance industry it says that it looks more towards the bearish side uh, if you look at the chart it it is clearly bearish uh, then uh, so <clears throat> so basically in terms of analysis uh, equity analysis you have these many options the same level of options are available here uh, also, so in the trend strength, general information, in general information, what you get is basically price volume action, gain loss at different periods, uh, volume trend, uh, the basic information. Also, what you have here is highlights and chart patterns, which is not available at this point of time. Uh, you, can, you can get a simple chart or uh, where you can play just with the price, or you can also uh, change it to uh, interactive charts. Which, will, which is a full-featured chart uh, available in MyTSR. Uh, then you have an option of look, looking at high lows. When you look at high lows, you get period from one week to 10 years, uh, high lows. Uh, obviously, this being uh, uh, pre-configured, uh, you don't have an option. Let's say you're looking for, uh, instead of two weeks, you're looking for three weeks. That option is not available. That option is available in the customized view, customized equity view. Uh, you can go for beta. You can go for uh, pivot points, uh, the red ones, which are the ones which have reached uh, in the previous trading uh, period. Uh, you're looking for Fibonacci. So all the Fibonacci points are available here. The retracement, extension, and projection. Uh, then uh, you have an option of trend strength. In trend strength, you get a high overview, whether you're looking at indicators or if you're looking at overbought, oversold, uh, it gives you very clear and detailed information what it is. So in this case, it says Arun is neutral. So if you are trading on Arun, then Reliance is not the share you should be looking at. If you're looking at uh, stochastic RSI and uh, you, you, uh, you are looking for short, uh, perhaps this is the stock you should be looking at. So similarly, uh, similarly there are other options. The bands, uh, which includes all the, all the common bands, Stollinger, Dunchian, and so on and so forth. Uh, you have volume-based, uh, which we are enhancing in coming days. Uh, so you have a check-in, you have accumulation distribution. So if you're looking at all technicals, the options are here. Uh, now, one of the things uh, over here is, let's say you're looking at ADX, the ADX is available here. It's pre-created with ADX. Uh, then you can go for, if you, if you uh, want to look for, uh, let's say MACD, then you can, you can click here, if the chart comes, the pop-up chart comes with MACD. And same way as you have an option of uh, uh, changing it from here. Uh, then uh, also one more thing that you see is the MACD, you don't have an option of choosing 12, 26, 9. Uh, so that option is available in the other view. So this is a common and standard view av available to all. You can always customize. Uh, same way you can go with EMA, EMA crossover. So these are certain crossovers which, which is readily available for you. Uh, obviously it doesn't limit you uh, with these crossovers. You can al al always create your own crossovers as well. So, uh, so in technicals, you have uh, these many options. In chart patterns, you have options uh, of chart patterns uh, and uh, technical indicators. So this gives you all the technical indicators out here. Uh, in future and options, you have an option of uh, getting the snapshot trades. Uh, you, can, uh, you can drill down into uh, pivot points for futures. Uh, you can go for rollovers. This is how the rollover is. 
or you can go for call option. The call in the call option, you have option of near month, next month, and far month. Uh, what we do is we interpret information for you, uh, like what it is doing, short build up in this case. Uh, and obviously, it's uh, bearish because it's short built up. Uh, you can scroll right and you can scroll right and see the Greeks, uh, uh, delta, gamma, rho, vega, theta. Uh, so there's a lot more options out here. Uh, you, can, you can go into financials. If you go into financials, you have these many options available for you. Uh, you can go for balance sheet. This, these are highlights. You go for balance sheet. The balance sheet is available here. Uh, if you want to see the chart, let's say for, uh, let's see something which is total liabilities, uh, then you see the charts. Charts also comes over here along with the price and volume. Uh, and so that, that, that's how you would typically play, uh, play for uh, uh, this uh, equity. Uh, there are a lot more options uh, which uh, you, you will learn uh, to explore. Uh, there's an option of adding to portfolio, adding to watch list, alerts, favorite. Uh, now let's say this is my favorite view for Reliance, and this is uh, on uh, uh, this is on uh, balance sheet. I can add it to favorite. Now what it does is uh, balance sheet of Reliance. So this becomes my favorite. Next time I don't have to go through multiple options of selecting the stock, uh, selecting Reliance industry, uh, selecting balance sheet. I can just get there, uh, just go to uh, that link, and it will show me this page. Uh, there's also an option of customized page. This is what I was referring to. This gives you extreme level of flexibility on how you want to uh, organize. So for example, uh, if you are looking to organize, uh, let me close all the tabs to start it from scratch. Okay, so uh, let's say I have general information out here and nothing else. Starting with clean slate. settings. So basically, this gives you very basic and general information uh, of the stock. Now, I wish to enrich uh, this page. Uh, I like to get into much more organized way. So I'll add a tab uh, for, let's say, technicals. Technicals. And uh, so that's the, that's the tab. I'm adding technical indicators out here. Uh, I want to add highs and lows here and pivot point also here. Just keeping it really simple and simple moving average here. Then I'll add another tab. Oops, sorry, I, I did save. So uh, I'll add another tab which says financial. Over here, I'll add key fundamental data. So this is how I have organized my page. Uh, obviously, there was an option of preview, uh, which we'll see in a late, late, later time. So, so basically, what my screen is, basically, this is a landing page. This is the first page which comes. You have technicals and you have financials. Uh, in, in landing page, we have selected highs and lows and reward point. Now, if you see, uh, as it being market hours, uh, it also gives you a summary of uh, what, uh, what's happening. Uh, it is clearly below S1 and uh, as per pivot point, and as per other pivot points, it's also mentioned some of the information. So you, from one screen, you can directly get the uh, basic overview of what's happening for the stock. Current price is 1929. Uh, also, you have an option of uh, changing it. Let's say I don't want the uh, Fubunaki, uh, so I save it. So you get to see what you want, what you're looking for. Uh, in, case of, uh, in case of moving average, as we have not added any moving average, so let's say, we want to add a simple moving average of, uh, uh, let's say 20. I'm looking to, oh, field is already added, so. Okay, I'll have a look at that later. Uh, we go to technicals, or rather back here, want to highlight one more thing. You want to add a new period. Uh, let's say you are looking for adding a three weeks period over here. So this gives you, this gives, uh, an option of adding three weeks. So basically it's pretty much customizable. Um, I want to add, uh, let's say a 21 day period just for the sake of it. So it gives you 21 days. You can always remove, you can always look at the charts. 
looking at the chart, it gives you a roughly about that particular period, 21 day period, uh, to see where the stock is currently. Uh, then going into technicals, in technicals, uh, this looks a little more complex than the other ones. You have, again, the option of all the ticks out here. Uh, then you have, if you want to see the screener settings, it gives you the period like ADI is 14 days, Bollinger Band is 22 standard deviation. So uh, if, if, you are, uh, if you are happy, well and good, if you want to change the standard deviation to let's say three and you want to save. So the standard deviation here is three. three. When you look at the chart, when you look at the chart, the standard deviation, if you see, okay, over here, it's three. Now, uh, now basically the values which are coming is out of three standard deviation, if you see here, uh, the, lo the lower band is 1837 and 1956. So that's what you'll be seeing here, 1837 and 1956. So this is how you can customize uh, to a different level. If you want to change it, let's say you want to change it to 18, safe. So uh, the values are changed here. Uh, you can also change it to 18 here. And if you see, uh, th that's how you would be customizing your uh, uh, polling, uh, customizing your technical indicator. Also, you have an option of uh, uh, selecting what you are looking for. Uh, let's say I'm not interested in parabolic SAR. I'm interested in uh, uh, ATR. So let's go. You can select ATR. ATR is my favorite, so it should be on top. And uh, Bollinger being the second one, I can move one up, save the settings and your setting comes here. It starts with ATR, Bollinger Band, and so on and so forth. So that's how you would be typically uh, typically organizing or customizing equity page. Uh, you want to look at long description. It gives you long description. Uh, it is below central line, fallen above this, this, this. So there's some narrative uh, and description around it. Uh, same way, you can go to financial. Uh, there are quite a few things which are uh, by default. Let's say you want to look at uh, Mm, enterprise value. Okay, so you want to look look at revenue. So click here. Revenue being important, so I want to push it a little up. Yeah, save. So revenue also comes here. So where we put revenue was this one. So that's how you would be uh, typically customizing the view. Uh, you you can uh, save these settings permanently. Uh, once you are happy with, you can save the settings permanently. You can again go and change the change the order of these tabs, or you can add more content. So you are happy with technical indicators. Uh, you also want to add some more stuff there. Let's say you want looking for uh, EMA crossover there, along with technical indicators uh, preview. So this is how the content is, uh, is it is previewed, and then you can save the settings. So in the technical, you should be seeing. Uh, exponential moving average as well. Again, option here is you can customize to an, any any level. Let's say you want to go for 21 days, add MA. So 21 day EMA has come in and uh, save the settings permanently. You save it, the settings are sa saved. So next time when you look at any other stock, let's say we go to TCS, uh, these, these settings are retained. So in the technical tab, we added a 21 day moving average, which is here. Uh, I don't like it anymore. I can delete it. I want to view how 100 day moving average looks like. So I click here. So the chart comes with 100 day moving average. So this this is customization of equity page. Uh, it comes with uh, it comes uh, with some practice and some some understanding of the system. But once you get used to it, it's it's pretty good. Uh, toggling between ticks is again very simple. Uh, you 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 can go to one hour chart. And you see the values for one hour. So, so on and so forth. So that, that's how you would be typically customizing equity page. Uh, we hope you like this video and especially the analysis that we cover on equity. That's that's some more important stuff, uh, especially the one which is on customization. I, I hope it will help you to customize the way that helps you to analyze the stock in much efficient and better way. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day.